Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In the summer of 1854, John and Mary Louisa McMurrin of Melrose embarked on a grand tour of Europe, along with their son and daughter, a nephew, Henry Turner, a family friend, Thomas M. Jordan, and William Carroll, an enslaved man. The McMurrins were one of many wealthy Natchez planters who braved an ocean crossing in their pursuit of refinement and culture. They arrived in Liverpool and spent several weeks in London, as well as exploring the English countryside. Their travels took them to Scotland, and in a letter to his cousin, Fanny Connor, written on August 20th, John McMurrin Jr. writes that he has, quote, seen a great many wonderful things in this country, castles and parks, and that the family was constantly on the go. In this particular letter, John Jr.'s stationery features an image of Melrose Abbey, the setting for Sir Walter Scott's long narrative poem, The Lay of the Last Minstrel. This particular work by the famous Scottish author was a favorite of Mary Louisa McMurrin, and Melrose Abbey, of course, is the source of the name of the McMurrin estate. John McMurrin Sr. purchased a copy of the poem for his wife at Melrose Abbey on August 5, 1854. Today, the slim red volume is a prized possession in the collection of the Natchez National Historical Park and may be viewed in the library of Melrose. This is Cheryl Waldrop, curator for Natchez National Historical Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.